Replacing a PCB on your Wooting 60HE might seem intimidating at first, but honestly, it's fairly simple and straightforward. So follow along this tutorial and you will swap it out in no time. And the items that you will need is a Phillips screwdriver with a PH1 tip and optional a keycap puller to make things a bit easier with removing the keycaps. So step one, remove the keycaps to reveal the five white screws located underneath. Step two, unscrew and remove the five white screws. Step three, to avoid damaging the USB-C port, pull the module out from the front. Step four, flip the module over and proceed to unscrew the eight silver screws on the back of the PCB. Step five, with a gentle pull, separate the PCB from the plate it should come off easily. If it doesn't come off, check if you actually removed all the eight silver screws. Step six, check if the foam is still properly seated on the plate. If it's loose, realign it with the holes and secure it into place. Step seven, take the new PCB and align its holes with the standoffs on the plate. And make sure for the orientation that the icons on the PCB is facing towards the plate and not towards you. Apply slight pressure to ensure it is seated. Step 8. Use the 8 silver screws to fasten the PCB to the plate. Insert the module back into the case ensuring that the back side with the USB-C port goes in first. Confirm that the USB-C port aligns with the hole in the case. Step 10. Screw in the 5 byte screws to secure the module in place. Step 11. Put the keycaps back onto the switches. And that's pretty much it. You successfully completed the whole process. Hopefully everything works perfectly now.